This is page 420, and we're going to be doing number 31. In this exercise, we're going to use two parallel arrays, and one is going to use to hold the actual points. The other will be used to assign a grade. So it's fairly simple to do. So in this particular case, our input We're going to need to input the grades, and we're going to do that from user, function, returning, int, or user, function, passing the array. So we make a choice which way we're going to do it. Since we did the uh, last time we did it with the user function returning it each one, this particular time we're going to just populate the array. And same thing with the uh, physical grade or letter grade. And this has to get done with function. And we're going to do the same thing in there without physically doing it in a loop. We're going to do it inside of the actual function itself. So we'll work on the processing and the output right afterwards. But these are we're going to look at right now. So we'll start with the function that we need is going to be a void. The reason why it's going to be a void is we're not returning anything. And where you want a, we'll call it, let's see, get grades. And in this particular case, we're passing an integer array. And then we want a void. And we'll call it calc grades. We'll be passing an integer array, but we want it to be a constant because we do not want to take a chance of changing it. And we'll be passing another integer array. Then we want to put in a constant integer and we'll call it max grades. And for now, let's just do five. So this looks good. And we obviously have an error because I didn't put a semicolon. And that looks good. So now what we need to do is we're going to initialize or we're going to declare our integer arrays. So we want to call them, we'll call them number grades. and letter grades. And why are you not getting rid of the red? Max grade, oh, because I did it again. So you're supposed to learn by your mistakes. Apparently that doesn't work with me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create this function. And we're passing the grades. And we'll just call them grades. We could call it whatever we want. So we need a 4 integer i equals zero i less than max grades and then i plus plus plus. 
and we'll do the world famous C out. Please enter a grade. In this particular one, okay, this is based upon points in here. So enter, so let's see, she wants the program to enter the grade after she answers the total points earned. So please enter points earned. Now let's do this and let's create a, just because I know, Mylene, you like this. So I love it. I'm going to write a function that's going to check to see if it's a valid grade after we do the C in first. Or we probably, you know, you would, might want to write a get integer function in there, which we've done a couple times. So there's never just one way to do something. So in this particular case, let's make it simple first and then we'll add to it. So we'll do C in and then grades of I. And that will take care of that. Now to be consistent, we might want to put change this to points since we're really working off points. So let's actually do that max um, grades. So let's just put get points. Just to be consistent with what the program kind of says. And let's see, close this here. And now all we need to do in main is just write get points. And we have to pass uh, do we we have to pass number grades so let's just put let's just make it points and we'll change that and it's not uncommon to change the name of a variable and then let's just to test it for I equals zero I less than max grades I plus plus So this way, we're making sure that our data is accurate. We really don't need this right now, uh, but we'll actually use this. So let's go in and run it and see what happens. So we'll do 50, 75, 100, 125, and 150. So we have 50, 75, 100, 125, and 150. So remember, when you're working with an array, it is passed by reference, which means you can make physical changes to it. So this looks good in here. So now we need something to calculate the grades. So let's go and we have calc grades. happened to my little thing. Come on, Mr. Screwdriver. Okay, you're going to make me do this manually? Apparently so. All right. <laughs> I can do that. And actually, calc raise is there. All right. Very good. So here is our points. And here is be our letter grade. 
And remember, you can call this whatever you want here because this is just a local name here. Although this actually is the value for grades, this is the same thing as points. However, you're not going to be able to change it. So, and the reason why that's important, it's very easy to type the wrong thing, especially if they're similar names, and then boom. So here you cannot change it at all. So we're going to calculate the grade. So we want to do four integer i equals zero i less than max grades i plus plus so now again we have if it's greater than 450 it's an a and greater than 400 but max points is 500 so in our get points we have to have a check to make sure that it is zero to five five hundred. So they were going to write a function that's going to physically check to see if we're in the right one. So let's go and and again you can do it inside to get points or you can do a check the ballot points in there. So again it's 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 a your call, whichever one you're more comfortable doing it. So uh, let's go in here and if points of i is greater than, let's see what the highest is. The highest is 450. then grade equals A. So we have grades of I equals A. Else, if Greater than 400. You, you have a less than. Do I? Okay. I do. Thank you. All right, so let's just copy this here. So if it's greater than 350 and 300, so this is 350, then grade will be C, 300. Gray will be D, and we can do else grades of I is a big fat F. Dwayne's waiting for me to say that's the grade Dwayne's going to get. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Or he's so, going to come you know, on professor. the from the wrong place on B, C, and D. Um, actually, um, yes. Um, I was going to call that out, but I, I didn't want to get my F, so. Well, you're going to get it anyway. You might as well get it and enjoy it. That's you a good might, you, might, you might as well. You might as well at least earn your F. All right, let's see. Do we have... <laughs> 
You know, you, I mean, what's the sense? Like, if you're going to get in trouble, what's the sense? You might as well go all the way. All right. So this if looks. Get in trouble, that's a good point. Make it fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. You know, it's kind of like if you're going to, you know, get punished, you might as well have done the crime to get punished. You know, that's the way I look at it. All right. So this looks good. So now we need to do calculate grades. So we have a get points. Then we need to calc grades. Oops. And we need points and letter grades. And then we're going to need something print the grades. Again, in a void. Mylene's favorite word. So now we need to pass both, again, a constant integer and a constant integer. And there's my little friend. So again, all we're doing is for integer i equals zero, i less than max grades, i plus plus, and let's do um, C out, student one points And we'll do a and this we need to do All right, so let's go in here and run it. Now remember, we have no error checks. So if you go in here and you put something in, um, anything less than that is going to give you an F. But, you know, obviously we need to make sure that we have bounds checking. But let's run this here first. Okay. The teacher could always allow extra credit. Um, teacher could always allow extra credit, but the program specs here doesn't do it. So let's do 400, 100, 300, 200, and let's see, do we do 300, 350, 360? Let's do 360. So 4, 3, so we never called the print thing in here. So I think if we want to print it, it would make a wise choice if we actually printed it. So we need to print grades. And we'll pass points. 
and letter grades. Let's try that one more time. Spelling counts. All right, so we'll do 302, 369, 449, 75, and let's see what we got. 425. So we have letter grade 68, 67, 66, 70, and 80. So that is an issue, and I know why. Because I made a boo-boo. These letter grades, if we're going to do Use that, we need to change R. this to a character. That's what the issue is. So let's change this to a character. Because what we were getting at that point in time, we were getting the ASCII value of it. So here we need to change this to a character. And we need to change it to a character. And this looks good. I'm not sure why we have this here. We'll missing it assume. Not really sure why we're getting that, but we can always get rid of that. It's a calculation. So this needs to be a, it might be because of these here. All right, so let's go. Did we replace everything? Character, character. Okay, so it was technically a character and an integer are really the same thing. Uh, it's just how they're doing, because when you type in the letter A, it gets transferred into the ASCII code for that, which is what you saw before. So let's go and run it again. And again, this is why, there's build errors. This is why it's so important for you to do something and check it so that you can fix the error right away. So letter grades undeclared variable. Boo. Let's see. Letter grades undeclared variable. Character letter grades. Uh, character letter grades is, oh, max grades. So this says letter grades. So where is letter grades not being declared? On line 36 and 37. Print grades, letter grades. You need to have it as the uh, empty single quote? Uh... Not for an array, because letter grades, max letter grades, uh, in here, type character on 33. Okay, our error was putting a semicolon in calculating and declaring things. So let's run it again now, and let's see what happens. And that time it worked. All right. So we're going to start from the bottom up and we'll do 200. Then we'll do 440. Then we'll do 302. Then we'll do 360. And then we'll do 440. Do we have something over five? Let's do 460 then. And letter grade A, B, C, D. So that looks good. Now, we have one issue here is we need to change our calculations of the grades because it has minimum. So we need to change this greater than or equal to on all of these. So this looks good. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a highest 
um, point and a lowest point check in here. So we'll create two more constants. Okay, this looks good. Um, now we have an error. Grades equals constant ends, max grades. You changed the name of it up above. Yeah. Oh, I did. That was not too bright. It was max oh, grades. Oh, you know, I must have hit, I hit the um, insert key, so I was inserting things. All right, so now we're good here. So now what we need to do is getting points so let's just do something a little different each time we've did done this here we've always done it within a while loop so let's just write just to do something different let's write a boolean function and we'll just call it valid points and we're going to be passing in an integer. So what all we need to do, and we'll call this points, all we need to do is define valid points. Valid points equals points is greater than or equal to lowest points and let's put in a and in this particular case we need to make it an and 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 which is two ampersand signs points is less than or equal to the highest point and this should be points let's just you, you put a great ten boss um i did you a very wise person no i'm just observant <laughs> oh is that what you're going with I mean, you can probably with. still make it work. You just you'd have to write. Well, I'm going to go back up here and change this to highest points. Uh, of course, if I could actually spell, I would be all right. So valid points equals this. Put our semicolon. Then we're going to return valid points and see why we have that little red ugly line. All right, so let's see what we're missing. Valid points equals bool uh, valid points equals. So let's just do. It might not it doesn't like this to be the same in here. So let's just change the name. Then we'll call it valid. Just do bool valid equals true we'll assume even though it doesn't really matter and we'll just call this valid so we don't have the same conflict it might get a little confused now we're going to return. well also before before highest points you got to put a uh, less than not a greater than oh yeah i thought i had a less than no that's what that's what i said earlier and then you were like you know you're a servant the, man or whatever probably changed <laughs> the wrong one all right so it's got to be fine. greater than the lowest, greater than or equal to, and higher than this um, points. And I think we're missing a 
parentheses. So now we're good. So this looks like we're good here. So we have the get the grade, enter a grader in, in here. Then what we're going to do, um, if um, we can do while not valid grade. Um, see, the issue you have to be careful about doing this is you want to make sure that you don't increment the grade loop because you're not going to want to continue and go back. So this is things I want to point out to you when you deviate things. Be very careful. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I put in if Um, we could do if not and valid points uh, grades of I and we might want to change that. See out, but let me tell you what's, let me show you what's going to happen. Invalid number of points. So what's going to wind up happening is we're going to get an invalid number of points in here. And it's just going to ignore it. So let's go back and run this program. And let's just put in, say, like 600. You will do all invalid stuff. So we'll do 700. Um, please enter a number of points earned. We'll do 30 minus 50. Then we'll do 50 and 450. And notice what it did. It just went on there. So this is why I wanted to show you, you have to be very careful when you have something in a for loop. You could technically, if you wanted to do this, reduce it by one. You could do I minus minus. But this is really not a very, 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 very good idea. If you're going to do this, then make sure that you put it in a while loop. So I would not do this right now. I would go in there and put in a Boolean in here and we'll put the while loop here. So let's just put while. And then we're going to put in need. We'll just put need points. And we don't have it declared, so we need to put in a Boolean. And then we're going to do a, actually, let's just do a do, let's see, while need points, points earn in here, get grades of I. So let's just do while need points, grades of I. So we want the wild, um, let's do a do here, and we'll do while need points. So this is basically doing the same thing by calling a function to verify it versus putting this in here.
So it's just basically another way of doing the same thing in here. The advantage of doing that is if you're getting several inputs in different functions, then you don't have to write the same code in each one of those functions in there. So let's go and check it and see what happens. So let's go through this one more time. So basically we're putting in a Boolean that's going to check to see if we're in good shape. So we're going to do, and this really shouldn't be in here. Let's get rid of this. Do, enter a grade, earn, get the grades, check to see if it's in there. If not, give an error message. And then what we'll do is we'll create a function that says print valid points in here. So, and I'll show you the advantages of doing that. But let's check this right now. So let's do 600 and see what happens. So then let's do 450 minus 2. Let's do 50, 420, 470, and 400. Uh, and we may be running a issue here. All right, so we obviously are stuck in the loop. So let's close this and look at our code here. While the, if not valid points, while need points. Okay, so we're checking to see valid points. Um, if not valid points in here, um, while need points. So, okay, so here's what we need to do to fix that. So what we're going to do is, if not valid points, then we can just do else, we'll do this, make it nicer. If valid points, then need points equals false. else so basically what we're doing is we're checking it the points are valid we're setting neat points to false else we're saying you have it and making it re-enter so that's one of like five different ways of doing that uh, you could also put neat points equals um, valid points and if valid points you know so there's so many different ways so let's test this now and see what happens enter points earn and let's do 600 and that's good so we'll do 450 minus 50 and 250 460 360 or 350 so we're good so we need to fix that cosmetic letter grade so let's fix that real quick before I forget so this looks pretty good so we could put in a print error message in here and again these are just different things that you can do to enhance your program after you get it working And we don't need to, um, actually, we don't need to pass anything. So 
So now we can just do C out. Invalid input valid input is between So let's go back to our function and let's go back to points earn, the points, blah, 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 if, else. So now what we're going to do here is put in print input error and see out, please re enter. So why would we do this? Again, remember that you may call and do the same thing in five, six, seven different functions. So you don't want to write the same code over and over and over again. For instance, maybe you have several different arrays that you're getting grades that are different in here. So you can go in there and use the same thing, check the valid points based upon that instead of having to write it all in here and having to constantly write the same code in several different functions in here. So uh, maybe you want to have, you know, again, different classes with different, say, different um, grading schemes. So these are all things that you would do it. Now, so again, the, uh, the message is to get your functions and your program working right, and then you want to go and make little enhancements here and there. I'm showing you different little tricks that you can use if you choose to use them. Your goal is just to make the program work for you, and then you can go on your own make enhancements to do things. So let's run this program real quick. And let's start off with an error. So valid, okay, we do need uh, a little bit of cosmetic stuff in here. So we do 450, 20, 390, 250, and 500. So we got an A, an F, a C, an F, and an A. So that looks like that's working. So that's this for here. 